everything was calm and peaceful in the savanna until the monster trucks came. Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I want to talk about some Safari games on the Wii. Safari Adventures is an old school game, even more old school than the Wii. I'm talking late 90s old school. It's a point and click adventure game. It's fun, I can't complain, it's just that especially newer generations will judge the game by the first look. The style does feel slow in comparison to modern gameplay styles and still it's fun to play. The gameplay is like this, you have to listen to what characters say and do what they tell you, post something, extinguish something and so on. You just point and click and move on the map. That's about the gameplay in a nutshell. Also the game is best played on PC. This this game also has a PC version and the mouse is much more comfortable than the Wii controls. But still, I can't complain about anything. And I can't deny that the game will be great for kids. It's a point and click adventure game in a style that we don't use anymore. But which still is fun to play. Wild Earth African Safari is a good game for kids. The main gameplay element is taking pictures. By pointing the Wii mode, the player needs to take certain pictures. The game tells you what to photograph and how and why some pictures are good and others aren't. You also receive information about animals, which makes the game educational. And to spice things up, you get some mini games, which aren't that well made, but at least they add a little variety. So overall, while the average gamer won't be intrigued by the game, kids would love it. Go Diego Go Safari Adventure is a great game for little kids. The gameplay mechanics are so easy it's hard to get them wrong. You get screen prompts and voice explanations that it's hard for little kids to find this mechanics complicated. It, it's hard for anyone to find the game complicated. And also the game is also fun to play. As for the gameplay itself, it pretty much feels like an interactive Go Diego Go episode. So. It's a great game for kids. That's the summary of everything. Animal Kingdom Wildlife Expedition is a game aimed at kids. It's like some sort of wild earth, but expanded. Here too the goal of the game is to photograph animals. Problem is the game is slow, tedious and kinda frustrating. Animals don't just appear, no. You get in a buggy and you have to look for leaves that are startled, then select the clues and go on foot after an animal. If it's there, then you're in luck. If it's not there and you didn't find your target animal, then you have to do the walk of shame back to the buggy and restart the whole process. And even if you find the animal you're looking for, animals can get scared by your presence and run, which this time is actually a good thing because you can photograph them closer. The, the game kinda has this bug but it's in your favor. Also you can use items to boost your performance like a lion's head to get closer to lions, a tent, a rainmaker. Also at night hyenas try to steal your items. The motion controls are terrible in this minigame, unresponsive and just, just, just horrible. So overall I consider the game bad. It's tedious, frustrating, too slow, and for a kid, the target audience, it's too complicated. Also the most important part in a game, having fun, isn't present. Kebula's African Adventures is incredible. What I like most about the game is that it's fast paced. The vehicle mechanics makes the game fast paced, actually the whole game feels very fast paced. I know that hunting takes time and preparation and that that has its own charm. But going as fast as the wind through the savanna, gunning down some animals and cruising again with the jeep feels very good. Once again like in other Kebola's games you have lures, a nice amount of weapons and multiple maps. I also like how varied the locales feel, considering that they are in the same biome. Also the game has a plot with nicely drawn cutscenes and animations and the story itself is pretty good too. So overall the game is amazing, it's fast paced, the presentation and the story is great, the gameplay is great, and it manages to keep everything good in this series while making you feel like an action movie star. 